I grew up in Africa where it's very rich in nature. You have these very fascinating things when you're a kid and you see an insect and then see why is it producing that little light behind. And those were the things that got me very interested in science. I was very inspired by my father who was the neighborhood doctor. This is where the knowledge that I wanted to gain for my medical school come from. There was uh, this field of neuroscience, a scary field for me because anything dealing with the brain was a little bit uh, science fiction. <laughs> Today, people with epilepsy can find some treatment, but the treatment is not always successful. These are abnormal, when you see this type of event, these are abnormal activities in the brain. We can look at their genetic makeup and we can find a mutation or a change in the gene that may be linked to their disease. What is the mechanistic link between that genetic defect and the disease manifestation? We have to, to have a good understanding of electricity because the brain communicates with other parts of our body by sending electrical signals. We have to understand physics and uh, resistance. And in some cases, we spend time inventing things and we see that we can change a specific thing that is being used for a purpose that doesn't have anything related to our work. And I understand how things work, but also I understand that we don't understand everything. When you are in research, you're basically pushing back the boundary of knowledge, the boundary of science. It takes a lot of time, but once you reach there, you get a strong satisfaction. My name is Frank Kalume, and I am an assistant professor of neurological surgery and pharmacology here at Seattle Children's Research Institute.